if it's just dropped a bombshell about the deep state in Washington. It's very real. Former Utah Representative Jason Chaffetz confirmed what many Americans have feared for some time now. Telling the hosts of TV's Fox and Friends that the deep state is very real and that he has first-hand experience of its inner workings. I was a little skeptical, but I'm telling you, having lived through it, it is very real, the former member of the House of Representatives said when asked about whether or not he believed that there was a deep state conspiracy working against President Donald Trump. He went on to say that he believes that the conspirators, many of whom are currently under investigation by Rep. Devon Nunes are likely to obstruct further investigations into their actions while deceiving the American public and pretending to cooperate. I guarantee you the Department of Justice will tout how many documents they are turning over, Chaffetz said. The question that House Oversight and Government Reform Committee Chairman Trey Gowdy always asked, which is the right one, is what percentage of the documents asked for are being turned over. Because, if you want 100% of the truth on a closed case, then turn over all the documents. But I don't think they're going to do it. They've been asking for these documents under subpoena since August and they still haven't gotten them. For the Hill, Chaffetz said he believed that Clinton, the 2016 Democratic presidential nominee, would be indicted in July 2016, before former FBI Director James Comey announced that she would not. There was hammers, there was bleach, but when you listened to James Comey back in July of 2016, you really thought that she was actually to get indicted. But this is a closed case. So there's no reason why the Department of Justice should hold back any documents from the Congress, he said. Well, then why are they asked to see? Well, the key you that you need to listen for today is I guarantee you the Department of Justice will tout how many documents they are turning over. Chaffetz replied. The question that House Oversight and Government Reform Committee Chairman Trey Gowdy always asked, which is the right one, is what percentage of the documents. Because if you want 100% of the truth on a closed case, then turn over all the documents. But I don't think they're going to do it. They've been asking for these documents under subpoena since August and they still haven't gotten them. Is it a deep state? Ducey asked. It is the deep state, Chaffetz said. I was a little skeptical, but I'm telling you, having lived through it, it is very real. Chaffetz also says he believes the deep state prevented an indictment from being filed against Hillary Clinton. Despite the overwhelming amount of evidence collected that proved she had committed a crime. There was hammers, there was bleach, but when you listened to James Comey back in July of 2016, you really thought that she was actually to get indicted. But this is a closed case, he said, saying he was certain that she would be brought to trial the summer of 2016, and was floored when the FBI announced she was being cleared of all charges. With all of the proof of the deep state's existence and seemingly more coming out every day, it is baffling that some continue to deny its existence. Hopefully. However, Devon Nunes will be able to finally pull the mask off of those actively working to bring down our government and will herald in a new era when we can truly make America great again.